hi guys it's prophet and welcome back to another video this is prophet productions y'all listen <clears throat> the holy spirit is on me so heavy i get like this <sighs> y'all i can't explain it i always say it in my videos but it'd be like my heart like starts to like pound and i just get like this overwhelming reverence for the holy spirit okay <sighs> so oh jesus <laughs> It is so strong, okay? It is like overwhelmingly strong. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father God, I bless your holy name right now, Lord Jesus. I thank you right now, Lord God, for this day, Father, for this is a day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, I thank you for your presence. Father God, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. God, I thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. God, I thank you that I can feel you, Father, so tangibly, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now that whatever word it is that you have for your people, Lord God, that it'll land straight in their laps. So oh God, I pray that you will remove me out of the way. God, hide me behind your cross, Father, for it is all about you and nothing of me, Father God. So allow them not even be able to see or hear me, but they shall see and hear you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, as they eat, I pray that I am fed, oh God. I pray right now, Father God, that you would forgive us for anything that we have done that was not like you, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you would use me to your capacity right now, Lord Jesus, that you would speak so loud and so clear to me, Lord God. Let it be none of my thoughts, God, none of my words, Lord God, but all of yours. I yield myself to you right now. Holy Spirit, come in and have your way. Use me as your vessel, Lord God. Fill me up, Father, that I may pour out to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up sabotage. Now, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We bind up every demonic hindrance, every demonic delay, every demonic attack. We bind it up right now. We bind up now every false illusion of the enemy. We bind it up now. Every bit of spiritual warfare, Father, that you did not sign off on, God, every illegal access of spiritual warfare, we bind it up now in the name of Jesus. We take captive now, right now, Father, of every thought, Father, that tries to uh, uh, exalt itself over you, Father God, the knowledge of you, God, every imagination that is trying to exalt itself in our mind over the knowledge of you. We bring it captive now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, y'all, okay, I, my daughter had her debate today, right? So I had to get up super early. I was getting dressed and I was going about my day. And right now it's like, it's nine o'clock. I'm Central Standard Time. So I drop her off at her debate. And I'm like, getting ready to go to the parking lot. And I just like, oh, the Holy Spirit was just like falling on me so strong, okay? And he says that we are in a season now of marriage, okay? We're in a season of marriage. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We are in a season of marriage, okay? Tangible marriage. I'm not talking about like, you know, Oh, you know, it's coming. It's like we can feel it in our spirits. You know, I'm talking about a tangible marriage, a marriage that you can actually occupy, a person you can actually see, okay? No more believing it's theirs. No, 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 no. I mean, it's actually coming. You're actually going to be able to see it and occupy it. God says we have entered into this season of marriage, this harvest time of marriage. And the reason why is because, let me tell you, when, when we have times, Father God, have your way, Holy Spirit. We have times um different seasons right throughout the year and when it gets close to um halloween and i never really paid attention right but when it gets close to halloween so like the month of like october a lot of ruckuses come about okay a lot of ruckus there's a lot of ruckus because you have so many like demonic entities and demonic things that are being entertained okay so it is a month where and y'all listen for for 34 years i celebrated halloween halloween was my favorite holiday since I was a little girl, okay? And the reason why, and, and then I didn't like Christmas, okay? I just didn't like Christmas. And people thought it was so strange. Like, how are you woman of God and you love Halloween, but you hate Christmas, right? I did not like Christmas because I, I just don't know. It's just, it just like, since I was little, it was never a happy time for me, right? So I just really didn't care about it much. But as I got older, I loved it for like my children. I loved it because I love to give gifts to people. Like, I love that kind of stuff. So I loved it for that. But as far as like me, it was just like, you know, I just, you know, and then I worshiped Jesus all the time. I reverenced him all the time. So it wasn't like I just took that day and be like, oh, this is Jesus' birthday. And it wasn't about that. It was just, you know. So, but Halloween, I loved it because I love scary movies and I love to dress up. I'm very animated. So I love to dress up. I love to like set up and decorate. And it was just, you know, I just loved Halloween since I was a kid. And God had never told me, don't celebrate Halloween. To this day, he's never told me that. He allowed me two years ago to make that decision on my own. 
you right, right. I think that I just became, I came into a place of spiritual maturity that he allowed me to make that decision, okay? And I love him for that. I love him for that. He did not tell me, Tierra, it's wrong to do it. Tierra, it's no, no. He just allowed me to keep celebrating it until I got mature enough to understand, like, I don't want to celebrate this anymore, okay? So October is a month where you have harvest, right? There's harvest coming in. But at the same time, you have such strong through any other time of the year, there's such strong demonic um, entities that are roaming, that are moving, that are seeking rest or going there, you know, and, and so he was showing me this is a month to be aware of because every October, the same things may come to arise again. The same things may come to attack you again. The same warfare may come again, right? Literally guys on October 10th, this October 10th, we just like, just, just passed a couple days ago, right? Um, when I recorded that video that night, that was Thursday night, when I recorded that video, the video that night, the shirt that I had on, it popped up in my memories, like, like yesterday. And I looked at that memory and I was like, dang, like I was depressed this, on this day. It was like four years ago, same shirt, October 10th. And God started showing me the enemy is moving in a cycle. Okay. What he, what he did to try to stop Whatever that, whatever your breakthrough was, whatever it was that God had for you, whatever it was, whatever he did to stop it, I'm going to try to stop it. He could not stop it then, right? So he laid back in the cut and he waited, all right? And so October, this month, be careful of cycles of the enemy, okay? Because the demonic, the demonic influence in the earth is so strong in October. There's such rebellion that has went out and rebellion is a form of witchcraft. So witches and different things are operating very strongly in this hour. And a lot of the saints are so busy being consumed with things that don't make a hill of beans. Okay. Distraction. I hear the Holy Spirit. The enemy has distracted the saints that they're not on post. They're not on guard. And the few that are on guard, the load is so heavy that they can't war and, 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 and actively uh, go throughout their day. Like, okay. So, so th things were so heavy up on me. The, the mantle and everything that I was carrying was so heavy up on me that the enemy was attacking me so badly in my personal life. He was sending my personal life into such turmoil and wreaking havoc. And it was going so crazy that I couldn't catch my footing to be able to get on my post for the people, to be able to stand, into, stand in the gap for the people. Okay. So that's what he's doing. He's attacking the remnant. So that they don't get into position. But God says no more. Okay. God says no more. All right. So what he's saying is now this is the season now where I am. I'm sending real marriages. I'm sending marriages of me. And the reason why he's doing it is because he says two are better than one. Right. You need somebody that you can fall on. You need somebody that's going to strengthen you, pour into you so that you can do the work of the Lord. Okay, so he says, I am sending that to you, okay, tangibly, quickly. And so with that word, I'm going to tell you this. Prepare yourself because it's not far off. Prepare yourself. God is allowing someone to come into your life now to be able to help you, okay? They're going to help you excel. They're going to pick up the slack. They're going to help you pick up the mantle that nobody can pick up. They're about to help you. The weight is going to be lifted up off of you now. You're going to be able to do the work of the Lord easy now. The warfare, the, 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 the attacks, all of this stuff, God says it's over. Okay. And so I'm sending these, these, I'm putting these marriages together. Okay. And marriage is an intimate thing. Marriage is a covenant that the enemy hates. He hates the covenant because the power of agreement. When two or three a touch and agree on earth, if they believe anything they touch and agree in, if they're, they're in, if they're truly in agreement, then our father in heaven shall do it. So right now you can touch and agree with a stranger. You can touch and agree with your mom, with your whoever, right? And okay, yeah, y'all can have faith. But you want to see heaven move? Touch and agree with your spouse. See, we think that the enemy is after marriages for a whole nother reason. He doesn't care about you being happy in a marriage. He don't care about that. He don't care about you having the best sex ever. He don't care about that. He don't care nothing about that. He cares about the agreement. He cares about the power of the agreement because the two become one. That agreement of those two is so strong. Listen, it could put 10,000 to flee. 
the power of a marriage agreement is so strong. He's petrified of it because there's nothing that he can do. He can't shake up the home. He can't shake up the street. He can't shake up the ministry. He can't do it because you're on post. And even when you feel yourself feeling like, I'm, I, I don't feel so good today. I can't do it today. Your partner is there to strengthen you. If the enemy is coming, your partner will see and be like, uh-uh, not today, devil. Okay? So he says the marriage is coming forth in, his, forth in his hour. Prepare yourself for this godly marriage. Prepare yourself for it. Okay? It's not about, marriage is not about what you think it's about. And if you go into a marriage thinking that it's about sex and it's about it's about uh, 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 showing off and videos and just being happy because you was never happy, on, it ain't about that. It's about forgiveness. It's about holding no wrongdoing. It's about love. It's about kindness. It's about building, pouring in, long suffering. All of the this is what marriage is about because if you don't know the true reason of marriage, if you don't understand the true covenant of marriage, if you don't understand, listen, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church. Wives submit to your husbands. If you don't understand truly what that means, it won't last. You you won't be able to maintain it. You have to understand the true agreement of it. You have to understand what it is. It's not fun and games. Marriage a marriage covenant is real life. And you'll be accountable. You'll be accountable what you do. You'll be accountable where you go. You'll be accountable what you entertain. You'll be accountable how you carry yourself. You'll be accountable. Because God says, listen, husbands. You're supposed to be loving that woman like I love my church. And I love my church. My church betrays me. My church leaves me. My church talks about me. My church just gets mad at me. My church does all kind of things to me. And I still stand in the paint for my church. I still show up for my church. When they call me, I'm there. I say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I am there. I'll never leave my church. And in return... My church submits to me because they understand the goodness of me. They understand the way that I showed up from them when nobody was there. I showed up for them. I loved them. I was there for them. I held them up with my righteous right hand. So they submitted to me. God says, I'm shaking at things. He's shaking up the foundation of this earth. He's going to bring forth what he's going to bring forth in this hour. And ain't nothing going to stop it. So listen to me. Get yourself together. You're coming into agreement. You're coming into agreement. God, I'm telling you, it's going to happen so quickly and so fast. You're coming into agreement. You're coming into agreement with who God said. You're coming into agreement. God says you're coming into agreement. You're coming into agreement. Y'all about to meet people like never before. It's going to happen so quickly. You're going to know that it's it. It ain't going to be no fakeness. Ain't going to be no weirdness. It's going to be real. And you're going to know that it's real. You're going to know that it's real. You're going to feel it, everything, and you're going to know that it's real from start to finish. It's going to be real. And it's not going to be about no social media. It's not going to be about flaunting it. It's going to be about doing the work of the Father. Them pouring into you, you pouring into them, y'all pouring into the kids, training the kids up to be good soldiers, that they can grow up and go in the world and make a difference. It's about holiness in this hour, and God's preparing his households. He's raising them up, and he's shipping them out. I'm raising them up, and I'm shipping them out. There's a demand now. God is putting a demand on some things. He says, I'm putting a demand on some things. So in this month of October, the warfare may feel like it has been turned up. But God says, my word is performing. I am giving the people what they need to do the work of me. I'm giving the people what they need. And I'm talking to the remnant. Okay, I'm talking to the remnant right now. I'm talking to the remnant. Some people were destined to be married. Some people were destined to be married. Some people are destined. That means God destined you to be have a cover. He destined you to have because you need it. Because what he's called you to do, you need it. And so it's the enemy's job to disrupt the plan of God. It's the enemy's job to make sure Nah, I got to make sure I stop this. I need to put everything I can put around this. I need to put every barrier I can put around this person. I need to put every barrier I can around them. I talked to my daughter this morning. And as I was talking to her, I felt the Holy Spirit so strong. Let me explain something to y'all. The ones that I'm talking to, the, the remnant that I'm talking to, 
the chosen one that I'm talking to, listen, this is for the ones God is raising you up in this hour to be examples. God is raising you up in this hour. You see the world, what's happening. You see what's happening. And y'all, I'm not, listen to me. I got another video coming. Listen to me. If you are not saved, you better get saved. I'm telling you. It won't be many days from this day right here that you see this video. Chaos. God says chaos is getting ready to erupt. Chaos. Utter chaos is getting ready to erupt in the land. Chaos is coming to the land. And he, and he says, my people, I'm, 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 it's time to take shelter. Shelter means it's time to be covered under the most high God. Shelter means it's time to get on the wall and begin to get in prayer and get strategy for your family, your households. There will be no food in this land. There will be no food in this land. You, you're supposed to be stocking up and preparing right now for what's to come. And people, the enemy has people so far on a, on a pipe dream. People over here thinking about the wrong things. He has people so distracted and blinded that they can't see that the world is coming to an end. It's right, like literally you, you can go to sleep one day and wake up and you have nothing. You can, you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep one day and wake up and your home, your whole house is gone. You just float in somewhere in the middle of the water. You can go to sleep and, and, and an earthquake can come and shake up your whole foundation. Literally. God says, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing anymore. I'm showing y'all signs. I'm showing y'all wonders that I am real, that I'm sitting up here. Judgment has went out in the land. My wrath has went out in the land. It's time for my people to be seeking shelter, right? There's no loyalty anymore. There's no love anymore. There's no patience and there's no kindness anymore. There, there, there's none of that anymore. This, this world is going on. Our kids, our kids are being deceived. They're being deceived and we're leaving them to their own devices. We're leaving them alone too long in their own devices. We're not pouring into them in the way that God wants us to pour into them. We're not paying attention to being spiritually aware because we're, the enemy is bogging us down with so many problems and so many things. And God says, can't you wake up? Can't you sense? Are you not able to discern? Are you not able to perceive the times that we are in? I'm preparing a people. I'm preparing a people right now. I'm preparing a people that will arise. That will arise and speak my word. That will arise and go find my people. He wants people that's going to go out into the dope houses. Go out into the streets. Go into the holes. Go into the muddy places. Go into the prisons. He needs people in this hour that's going to find his lost sheep. People in this hour that's going and finding the people that says, I'm not worthy right now. I'm not worthy of God. Some people don't even know God. And, 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 and until everybody, the only thing that he's waiting on is for every, it says before he can come back, he needs every single person on this earth to have heard of his name. And they have to have a chance to have uh, to uh, uh, receive salvation. Then he can come back. The only only thing that we're waiting on is everybody to have had a chance to receive salvation. Then he's going to part the sky. So he said, I'm raising up my remnant right now. I'm raising up the remnant right now. Since you were little, the enemy has put everything around you that would cause you to, to be nothing, cause you to do nothing, cause you not to operate in your calling, cause you not to operate in your, in your anointing. He's caused you to feel rejected, abandoned, mistreated, overlooked. He's caused all these things around you, all these things around you since you were a kid and they are demonic distractions. He wants you to look at what's around you and feel like you can't can't do anything you can't go anywhere you can't have any better you can't be who god says and god says that's a lot if you get in my word and you study my word that is your strength right there if you study my word and you find out who i am then you're going to know everything around you is just an illusion whatever whatever you speak you shall have wherever you go wherever your feet tread you're going to be blessed whatever you touch i'm going to multiply it but god says in this hour i need my people to get spiritually aware i need them to get aware and some people truly just need backup they need reinforcement the churches aren't churching anymore the pastors aren't pastoring anymore the teachers aren't teaching anymore. The leaders aren't leading anymore. The marriages aren't marriaging anymore. The families aren't family anymore. This is the time that we're in now. Can you not discern the times that we are in now? Love is now wax cold. This is the time that we are in. People are being led away. People are being turned over to reprobate and say their minds. People are falling by the wayside. People are giving up. People are tapping out. The suicide spirit is so high. Depression is so high. Oppression is so high. Lust and fornication and adultery and perversion is so high. All these things are so high. And God says, can you not perceive the times that we are in? So he says, okay. Okay. I'm about to break some rules. I'm about to break some ba break some ba barriers. I'm about to do things in a way that it's never been seen before. You're going to arrive at your destination because I put something down on the inside of you. I put something down on the inside of you and it's got to come out of you. 
and the devil has kept it locked inside of you too long. He's put people in your life to suppress the gift for too long. He's put people in your life that knocked your confidence down too long. He's put people in your life that mistreated you and abandoned you and rejected you too long. And he did it because he didn't want you to arise and be the remnant that you are. He didn't want you to have those kids because he knows that if this if this person has children, she going to raise them. He going to raise them in a way that a remnant raises kids. So I want to lock up the womb. But God says nobody has the power to do that but me. God says in this hour, everything that I have decreed it shall be so everything around you i'm about to line it up i'm about to give you every tool that you need to go forth i'm about to give you every mindset that you need to go forth i'm about to give you every strategy that you need to go forth they can try to mimic you they can try to mock you they can try to tear you down they can try to hold on to you but i'm breaking you free i'm setting you free and it ain't small god says it's big and the reason i'm doing it is because you have purpose in your belly and it has to come out it has to come out the purpose in your belly has to come out because the time is now the appointed hour is now you've been on the train to field you've been on the train to field you've been on the train to field every test every bit of fire it was to see if you were truly ready for the mantle to see if you were truly ready for the finances if you were truly ready for the resources because it's not about you it's about me i had to make sure that you were obedient i don't care who walked out of your life you still had to show up to the assignment i don't care who told you you'd never make it you said to show up to the assignment you've climbed your way you crawled your way you pulled your way and now it is time for my remnant to arise god says get up and arise i am sending you help god says get up and arise i'm breaking the barrier for you you are important to this world you are a light to this world you cannot die there i don't care who won't show up for the assignment you're showing up and as long as you show up i'm gonna send the people to show up god says this is your hour this is your time i put a word in your mouth and the world shall hear it the masses have to hear it you've been through too much do you think that i took you through all of this do you think that i sat you in all these places to be a spy for me you sat in places and you studied and you seen what the people needed you saw what the enemy was doing the tricks i put you in places i put you in crack houses i put you in the streets i put you in the group home i put you in the jail i put you in the prison i put you put you in the prostitution ring i put you in the dope house i put you in the alley i put you on the rape society team i put you in the uh, uh, the uh, abuser uh, the, the survivor uh, survivor awareness uh, uh, a team i put you with cancer i put you with aids i put you with all these afflictions i did all of these things and then i delivered you because now you know that there is nothing that i can't do now you can go and spread my word now you go and tell people about the god that you have seen him move time and time again when i was lost he found me when i was in the mud he cleaned me up i was a sinner the people need to hear this in this hour they don't want to hear nothing cute they don't want to hear nothing cute your story is relevant and your story now the enemy took it and he tried to twist it he tried to taint it he tried to taint you he tried to shut you out he tried to mute you but god says in this hour you shall not be muzzled you're coming forth with dunamis power everything up until this moment was to cause you to have dunamis power you were knocked down so many times but by my right hand i withheld you up and god says now in this hour in this day in this time right now in this season you are coming forth with my word in your belly when you open up your mouth you will see what i said at this sort of eye. when you open up your mouth you will see you will see you will see what i have said thank you jesus the enemy tried to stop you Woo. the enemy tried to the enemy wanted to stop you he pulled out every trick since you were a kid to stop you i'm talking to the remnant thank you jesus hallelujah see you're the remnant you're the remnant the remnant is the one that was saved for last the remnant is one that was that was on the back side of the mountain training the remnant was the one nobody thought this one was going to be anything everybody looked over this one everybody thought oh that's just nobody yeah they'll never amount to nothing they can't stand on their own two feet it's always something with them they always talking about god said this and god said that oh yeah god ain't with them oh they just a witch oh oh they just they just making up stuff oh yeah they just a mean person they just this they just they try to come up with all kind of things that get you but god said i had you in the cut and i had you covered i had you in the cut and i had you covered i had you in the valley and i had you tucked away i had you in some places i put you in some low places so that you could be relevant it was all a setup everything that the enemy threw at you god allowed it because it was a setup god said see the remnant has to be able to talk to the masses let me tell y'all something. Right now, you can line me up with a million people, literally. Put me in a room, in an arena with a million people. And God told me this a long time ago. I said, God, 
Why have I been through so much? Why has it been so hard? Why is I cried out to him and I said, God, I, I, I physically can't take it anymore. God, I physically can't take it anymore. Like how many more tests? How many more times? How many more letdowns? God, how many more? Every time you tell me something's going to happen, I never see it. When I dream it, I never see it. And then it's like it comes right there to me and it gets snatched away. God, how many times, Lord God? How many times are you going to leave me? How many times are they going to reject me? How many times are they going to mistreat me? How many times are they going to misunderstand me? How many times, God, you've given me this pure heart. Why does nobody see it? Why is everybody always treating me like this, God? Why is it so heavy? Oh, God, why? And God says, let me tell you something, Tierra. If I put you in a room full of the masses, the masses, the millions, if I put you in a room, I need you to be able to talk one word. I need you to be able to speak one word, and it touches everybody in that place. Do you know the intense warfare? Do you know the intense valley that you got to go through, that you can open your mouth and talk to the masses? That's why your life has been so hard. But I'm covering you now. I'm bringing you out now. I'm washing you up now. I'm filling you up now. I'm making you anew now. I'm restoring you now. And when you step out on the scene, when you open up your mouth, that power that's in your mouth, people say, oh my God, prophet, you preach so good. Oh, prophet, you pray so good. Oh, you just like it just flow out of you. Do you know why it flows out of me? Do you know why it's like this? Because I had to get in some low places. I had to be in some places where I thought I was forsaken. I had to get in some places where I had to cry out to God. I didn't have nobody. I remember being 14 years old and I told y'all before, I remember 14 years old and I was at a party with celebrities and I didn't know anything about drugs and I took about five or six X pills and I was in the bathroom and I was dying and I was overdosing and my mouth began to shake. I began to foam and I knew my mama told me when anything ever happens to you, if you need God and you don't have words, just begin to say Jesus. And I began to say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Everybody ran out and left me and I began to say Jesus. And within an instant, I felt nothing. Within an instant, God came and saved me. And I told him, God, right now, if you save me in this moment, Lord God, if you don't let me die, this, I will never do drugs again. And I never did drugs again. I might have smoked a little weed down the line, but you can you can pay me. And I understand now, but God said, look, I had to give you some testimonies. I had to give you some tests at 13 years old. 13 years old. I had a pimp and I was a prostitute at 13 years old. And it's things that I have hid for so long because I said, you know what? People are not going to understand my story. They're going to understand. Listen, y'all will understand it today. Let me tell you something. If y'all really knew the true story, if y'all knew the real testimony of my story, I was abused and raped as a child. I was molested as a child and it pushed me into the streets and I didn't know what I was doing. And people were finding me in the streets and they were using me and they were abusing me and I didn't understand it. I was just searching for love. I wanted to be loved. But God says, I put you in those places. Do you think as a child that you had a choice to figure out and understand? No, I gave you the parents that I gave you. I put you in those places because I was going to use you. And by the time I was 17 years old, I was with a man. He gave me everything. I had everything. I had Bentleys. I had Rolls Royces, million dollar homes. I had everything I could ever think and I could ever imagine. And I remember the feds came in and they said, look, you're looking at 60 years. And I was like, oh my God, Jesus. By that time I was pregnant with my daughter and I was panicking. I was freaking out. And I couldn't, I didn't understand 60. Like what, what, what did I even do? Like it, it was, so, it was so, then that's just a little bit of the story, but there's so much I'm talking about. There's been so much. There's been so much that I had to endure and go through. And then God says, after all that, I'm going to send you a husband. And I had a dream of him and he sent him. And then my husband left me and married somebody else. And God said, don't worry, I'm going to send him back. And then God sent him back and we got married again. And he still wasn't acting right. And I'm like, God, what is this? God, every time you tell me you're going to do something, I got pregnant and God took it. I said, God, every time you say you're going to do something, God, it feels like you never do it, God. It feels like I'm still overlooked, God. It feels like people are still mocking me. They're still laughing at me, God. They're still calling me names. They're still saying this. They're still saying that. They're calling me things. They're being mean to me, God. Can't you see me? Don't you hear me, Lord God? I hate this heart of mine, Father God. Make this heart hard, Father God. Make this heart hard. Make it hard, God. I don't want it to be soft like this anymore. I don't want to operate in this way anymore, God. Save me, Father God. Find me, God. Here I am, Lord God. And God said, baby, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. I had to put you in those places. I had to see if I can trust you that no matter what happened, no matter how much you felt that I lied to you, I needed you to know something. I needed you to know that I loved you more than anything. So I put you in some places and you never turned on me. You never cursed me. You kept showing up for me. Even when you felt like I betrayed you, you still showed up for me. Even when I said, Tierra, here, this is yours. And I took it back. You still showed up for me. Even the very thing that I said belonged to you, when it turned around and left you and abandoned you, you still showed up for me. Even when you prayed for that child and you dreamed of that child and I gave you that child, you were excited. And then I took that child. You still showed up for me. Every single thing, Tierra, you still showed up for me. And that is why now I'm about to show up for you because it's not about anything, but it's about God for me. It's about God for me. It's God for me. It is God. I don't care who leaves me. I don't care who goes away. I don't care who dies. I got to keep going. I got to keep pressing. And I know I'm not the only one that has the story. I'm not the only one who feels this, but I'm telling you right now, God says in this hour, my 
remnants are arising and I'm calling my people to a place where they can be able to get in the posture where they can be able to do what I've called them to do I'm calling my people in this hour to preach my word to teach my word in and out of season I'm calling my people now in this hour so heal baby heal rest baby rest because God is launching you for with a power that you never thought you would have and he's sending you help to cover you he's sending you the right person now he's sending you the person that can walk you into that place he's sending you the person that won't uh, send turmoil not a person that won't understand the call of your life not the person that won't understand that you are so special to God he's sending somebody now that's going to reinforcement it's reinforcement time God says I'm sending you reinforcement now you can battle not to worry about anything because they're going to cover you and on your days when you feel so low they're going to pour into you they're going to be able to discern and sense that she's poured out enough he's poured out enough that need to be strengthened it's not going to be about them it's going to be about God and when it comes and it's about God they'll pour into you different they'll show up for you different so listen to me God says I am changing things in this hour Ooh, thank you, God. Ooh, I feel the anointing. Ooh, yeah, da, 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 bo, satabai. Ooh, yeah, da, 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 bo, shekabaseke. This is not a game for me. This is not a game for me. I see people right now say, oh, kingdom marriage don't exist. I see people, huh? they're, 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 it's like they're just tricking people for their money. They're getting on there saying any kind of thing. The preachers in the pulpit on there, they on Facebook talking all kind of crazy talk. It's all kind of stuff happening right now. God look like, look like God is being mocked right now, but he is not a God to be mocked. Whatever you reap, that will you sow. I mean, whatever you sow, that will you reap. I'm telling you in this hour, things are being shaken up. Things are being shaken up. Judgment and wrath has went out in the land. God is partnering you with who you need to be partnered with to get this baby out of you. Right? That's the anointing. To push this anointing out of you. To push it out of you. The appointed time is now. The appointed time is now. Hear me, Remnant. The appointed time is now. Every dream that you had, every vision that you had, every single thing that you've ever even seen, everything that God has shown you, the time is now. The appointed time is now. Turn your face towards God. Turn your face towards God. You're going to know who's with you. You're going to know who's not with you. And your circle is not big, y'all. I ain't got no, I ain't got no friends. I, I had a best friend, but, but that season was up. I had a best friend for, for decades. God blessed me with her and I had her for a long time, but the season was up. Y'all, sometimes, sometimes I can't do nothing. Sometimes I can't do nothing but get on my face and cry. Sometimes I can't do nothing and be like, God, why is it so heavy? I'm just alone. I be feeling so alone sometimes. Like I'm so misunderstood. So, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay because it's, it's just a part of being chosen. It's a part that it, it wasn't an appointed time for nobody to be there. I wanted people to be there so badly. I, I, I just wanted somebody, I wanted somebody to be there, but that was, that was, that was, that was my human side. That was my, but God said it wasn't the hour. It wasn't the time. You, it, it was things that you had to learn and go through. I had to test you and you couldn't have that strength. Then you could, you couldn't have that support. Then this is the way that I trained you. This is the way that I taught you. This is the way I had the Holy spirit. I had the Holy spirit. Every leader, I had about two leaders in my life. And both of those leaders, crazy, turn out to be crazy. I'm talking about crazy, okay? I'm not going to talk about the things that crazy. And, and God trained me. The Holy Spirit trained me. He told me who I was. He told me why I was. He told me the mission. And, and every gift that he gave me, he gave me the counterpart for it. I'm going to give you, you can dream, baby. So I'm going to give you the, a, a gift of a dream interpretation. Not only will you speak in tongues, you're going to have the gift of interpret, interpreting them tongues. Every, every, everything that he gave me, every every gift he gave me, he gave me the counterpart to it. He says, it's going to be me, you, and the Holy Spirit. That's it, baby. That's all you need. Me, you, and the Holy Spirit. That's all you need. That's all you need. And he trained me. And sometimes I would cry out and I would be so lonely. And I wouldn't understand it. But God said, that's all you need. My grace is sufficient. But help is on the way. Help is on the way. God is sending help. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Through your life, through your life, everybody is going to know that God is real. And it's not going to be in a way that is where they're going to look at it and be like, oh, wow, they really love each other. Man, they got a nice, look at the baby so pretty. And they got a nice car, nice house. Man, I just really want this. No, they're not going to look at your life and idolize material things. Mm -mm. 
That's what the world does. No. Your life, when they look at your life, they're going to say God is real. Wow. Look what God did. That's why God did it how he did it. Your life is not to be idolized for the material things that you'll have. Your life is not to be idolized because you will have a nice looking family. No. They're going to see God in it. That's why he's going to showcase it. Because people are going to be able to look and see God in it. Y'all, I can't say a whole lot of things about myself, really, honestly. People be like, oh, you this and you pretty and nothing. I, I don't, I, that stuff don't mean me a hill of beans. I, I never, like, I still mean me a hill of beans. One thing I can say about myself that I know without a shadow of doubt that I, that, 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 that's just me. And I mean, it's everything in me. If anybody says, say one thing about yourself, Tier, that one thing is this. For God I live and for God I die. I love him. I love him. I've loved him when I was homeless and I loved him when I had a beautiful home. I loved him when I was carless and I loved him when I was pushing an almost million dollar car. I loved him when I had nothing and I loved him when I had everything. I love him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. That's what Job said. And you know what slay means? To kill. Though he kills the flesh, though he kills the tangible things, yet will I trust him. Right? He's not killing me personally. He's killing the stinking flesh. He's putting me through the fire and killing the flesh. So people say, oh, though he slay me, do you understand what that means? Yes, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he kills everything that would cause me to operate in haltiness. Though he kills everything that would cause me to get off track. Though he kills everything around me that would ever make me put anything else an idol on before him and his business. See, 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 he had to show Rebe Sotabai. See, he had to show me some stuff. Let me let me show you something, baby. I, I tear, I gotta make sure that everything around you, if I take it, you still stand with me. I gotta make sure that that that, that if you have nothing, you'll still stand with me. Before, before, before I can usher in to this true thing, I need to make sure that you're going to stand with me. I need to make sure you never idolize it. I need to make sure that you know the priority. I need to make sure that you understand the true depths of relationship with me. That if you got me, you got everything. It ain't about a baby, a husband, a, a, a job, a promotion, a car, a house. No, it's me. As long as you got me, you can recover everything. As long as you got me, you can be given everything. So he had to train me. By losing everything. He had to train me. By not giving me everything. He had to train me. I'm trained now. I'm trained. I love him regardless. I can lose everything right now. And I still I still gonna love him. I'm still gonna love him. I'm still gonna serve him. I ain't got no choice. It's who I'm created to be. I, I don't fight the process. Because though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Okay? So... That is what God wants out of you. And a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people can't do that. When I sing to him, when I worship him, when I open my mouth, immediately the Holy Spirit falls. Do you know why? It says worship in spirit and truth. You know why? Because it's real for me. These ain't just words. When, when I tell him, God, you can take everything. He's done it. I've lived it. It's true. I've stood every test and I'm still standing for the Lord. I've, 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 I've survived every storm and I'm still standing for the Lord. I didn't denounce him. I didn't turn back. But I kept pushing forward. Everything around me said turn back. I kept pushing forward. I kept trusting him. I kept believing him. And this is you, my friend. This is you. So listen to me. God is sending you help. God is sending you help now. God is sending you help now to do what it is that he's called you to do. Like I did the video, the struggle is over. Yeah, the breakthrough is here, baby. You've broke through. You've broke through. You have broke through. You have broke through. You have broke through. And now you're about to receive what God has always had for you. Your appointed time is now. Think it not strange. Think it not strange by what's coming into your life. Think it not strange by the turnaround that's happening in your life.
There's a turnaround happening in your life. Y'all hear me. There is a turnaround right now happening in your life. There's a turnaround happening in your life. Strangers are coming to bless you. Resources are finding you out of nowhere. Emails, check your emails, check your mailboxes. Resources are coming out of nowhere. The supernatural is happening to you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare it over you a turnaround now. I decree and declare a turnaround now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare now everything that was lost, you shall recover. Everything that was stolen, you shall recover. Everything that was held up, it shall flow now. Everything that was held up, it sh you shall receive it now. Everything that was held up, it's yours now. I decree and declare it's turning around now. I decree and declare breakthrough. I decree and declare breakout. I decree and declare break forth in the name of Jesus. No more hindrances, no more blockage, no more, no, no more, no more. I decree and declare it now in the name of Jesus. That so be satama. That's that that as we said, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare now wherever the enemy has tried to confuse you. No more confusion. No more confusion. I decree and declare clarity to you now. I decree and declare every copycat confused their minds. Got every witch and warlock confused their minds. Oh God, I decree and declare your child right now, Father. They'll come forth to their testimony. They'll tell their truth, Father God. In this hour, the enemy will no longer shame them or hold them back in defeat. The enemy will no longer sit them in depression. Oh God, I decree and declare they're coming out now. I decree. And and declare to come out with their hands up now. I decree and declare people that you have called to be in their lives are coming forth now, God. I decree and declare meet and greets now. I decree and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Assassinate the assassinator, Father God. Uh, say, send confusion to the confuser, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, send confusion to the confuser in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lock up what needs to be locked up and open up what needs to be open, oh God. I decree and declare it's flowing now. I decree and declare breakthrough now. I decree and declare financial harvest now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare no more barrenness. I speak now fertility in the name of Jesus no longer will the enemy be able to steal in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fertileness I decree and declare marriage I decree and decree and declare restoration is your portion I decree and declare now that everything shall line up I decree and declare no longer will you question yourself I decree and declare full confidence in the Lord I decree and declare every memory that you have that God has spoke to you I decree and declare that you are remembering it now I decree and declare now in the name of the, the thorn is being removed from your side thank you Jesus the thorn is being removed from your side thank you God I thank you right now, God, that they shall not lose anything, but they're recovering all in this hour. There is a turnaround happening. I decree and declare it to be so. Turn it around, oh God. Thank you, Father. I shake up the pits of hell, and I cause not every key to be removed and given to your people, oh God. I thank you now, Father God. Snatch back, Father God, every bit of authority that's fallen to hell, oh God. Snatch back the people's authority, oh God. Snatch back their children, oh God. Snatch back their wives, oh God. Snatch back their husbands, oh God. Snatch back their visions, oh God. Snatch back their breakthroughs, oh God. Snatch back their sameness, Father God. Snatch back their minds, oh God. Snatch back their remembrance, oh God. Snatch back their visions, oh God. Snatch back their dreams, oh God. Snatch back their goals, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. You are worthy to be praised, God. I thank you that you've done it, God. I thank you for dominion, God. I thank you for enlarged territories, God. Your people shall not be homeless. Your people shall not go under. No more will they be mocked and I decree and declare it to be so as my as my words are going out into the land as my voice is going out to the land that shall it be in the name of Jesus provision is coming provision is coming the camels are coming the gifts are coming for your faithfulness I decree and declare rewards when people see you they shall obey when people hear you they shall obey I decree and declare now an outpouring I decree and declare now the rain in the name of Jesus the rain in the name of Jesus uh, to burn up every bit of hell's fire. I decree and declare now uh, every name, Father, that's on an altar for the enemy, God. Uh, blow it, Father God. Uh, rip it up, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I give you praise for your people, God. I give you praise for my life, oh God. I give you praise for our anointing, oh God. I give you praise for the test and the trials, oh God. I give you praise for the thorn in our side, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. Nothing will stop us from loving you, God. Nothing can turn us back, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. We glorify you, Father. We exalt you, oh God. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Woo. I'm sweating. I don't even care. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. 
Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. We exalt you, O God. We magnify you, God. We lift your name up, Father. You are worthy and worthy to be praised. You are worthy and worthy to be praised. Nobody can get the glory but you, Father. Nobody can get the glory but you, God. It's all because of you, God. And it's nothing of us, Father. And for that, we say thank you. For that, we say hallelujah. For that, we say we worship you. We love you you God we trust you God though you slayed us God yet did we trust in you father though you had a thorn in our side your grace was sufficient father we're coming out with our hands up in praise we're coming out with our hands up in so a surrender oh God and we thank you now God hallelujah Jesus I'm at the academy people walking by but I, I know I, I, I decree and the fire of God the fire of God the fire of God hallelujah jesus i love y'all so much hallelujah jesus i bless the lord for y'all i bless the lord for y'all i'm so excited for your lives i'm so excited what god is doing i thank y'all for y'all prayers like y'all 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 prayers are just i just love y'all for those prayers thank y'all for the prayers thank y'all thank y'all for always showing up for me thank you for encouraging me when y'all don't see me y'all trying to like where you at what's going on i appreciate it so much god guys I, I i press i press because i know that there's people out there like me that may not be able to hear the lord or maybe hear the lord but they just need confirmation maybe they get in a place so stuck that somebody got to come and get them out of that place i was in that place and i didn't have anybody i didn't have i couldn't turn a phone on and find somebody that was really for real i couldn't find that i did i did i never seen that and so and so i strive to be that i'm not perfect but i'm not out here sinning you best believe that I'm not perfect, but I'm not out here just living a whole wild alley cat life. No, you know, no. And, and it's been hard. It's been hard because sometimes I just sit in the house and probably won't go nowhere for days to just sit there, you know, to myself and my own thoughts and my word. And, and, and sometimes the attacks can be so much, but it's times like this. It's times like this when the yoke breaks. It's times like this when, when the chains are destroyed. It's times like this when I know that's why hell came after me. But I can't stop and I won't fall. It is the appointed time now. It is the appointed time now. It is your appointed time now. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him praise and give him glory. I love y'all so much. I pray that this word bless you. I pray that the prayers blessed you. I know the turn. Y'all testify in the comments. Give me your testimonies in the comments. And listen, guys, speak what you want to see. Speak what you want to see. Speak what God said. Speak what he said. Speak his word. Don't say negative words. Don't speak crazy talk. Speak his word. You're coming up and out. God is sending help. Help is on the way. You know, Miss Doubtfire is like, help is on the way, dear. When he gave him the uh what he like gave him a shrimp put like some um some pepper or something on the shrimp and he was over there he ate the shrimp and she she, she was down by was across the restaurant and she started leap, leaping across the chair <laughs> help is on the way dear help is on the way dear that's what God is saying help is on the way dear okay I love y'all and I'm so excited I'm so excited for us. Listen, if you have prayer requests and you want to send the prayers to my email, I have the email in my description box. If you want to go to my website, maybe you want to buy a prayer cloth, maybe we need oil, or maybe you want to get a session, a one-on-one, -on -one, look on my website. Information is on there. Um, if you want to sow on this word, if you want to sow into my life, into the ministry, you say, man, I felt so much I want to sow. I want to come into agreement with this word, or I just want to bless you, prophet. I thank you for what you're doing. Whatever it is, or just out of obedience, let God lead you. All the information will also be in my description box. I love y'all so much, and I could not do this with y'all y'all prayers and without y'all help i love y'all and i look forward to seeing y'all another video this video is almost 50 minutes long so i don't know how long it's taking to upload but it'll upload right on time for you i love y'all and i'll see y'all soon bye